welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he said, Leader Mazen Namdekanu warned the Fulani Janjaweed that he would destroy Nigeria. He told them that he would destroy the fraudulent contraption called Nigeria because Nigeria is a zoo. And he did keep to that promise. He kept, he kept to that promise. The Fulani that have never declared any Fulani terrorists wanted are foolishly declaring Mazin Namdekanu wanted a man that they know where he resides, you know. And that is why we call them Janjaweed. We call them Janjaweed. They keep forming different groups because of Mazin Namdekanu. When they hear that name, they shiver. They shiver because he has promised them that he would destroy the zoo and he has done that exactly. Because the plan of the Fulani Janjaweed was to quietly run over Biafra land without the world knowing. But Mazen Namdekanu, through his preaching on Radio Biafra, and through the launching of Eastern Security Network, was able to destroy the Fulani Janjaweed. He destroyed them. He destroyed them. You know, that is why the Fulani Nigerian government is working with the National Assembly to pass a regulation, press regulation law that will violate freedom of speech. You know, they tried it with Twitter and it didn't work for them. They quietly unbanned Twitter. They quietly unbanned it because they had made so much noise. They had made so much noise, but their noise did not help them. It did not. 75 Northern Groups, known as the Northern Consensus Movement, NCM, has declared our leader, Mazenam de Kano, wanted. Imagine, they have not declared Sheku that they organized with Icewep to kill. They didn't, uh, they didn't declare him wanted. Or the Fulani bandits ravaging the whole of the North, killing houses, killing them and maiming them, and not on Christians. They have not. Because the only problem the Fulani Janjaweed have in the zoo is our leader, Mazin Namdekanu. They thought by proscribing IPOB criminally, you know, with their kangaroo court and the uh, quota system Sharia uh, judge, they thought it would stop IPOB, it would stop Mazin and the Kanu, but that didn't stop him. You know, they did all their military actions, maiming, killing Biafrans everywhere. But our leader told them that even if they kill all Biafrans, Biafra must be free. And this is what is happening. Biafra is free already. It's free. And that is why the Janja weed Fulanis, you know, they are placing a hundred million bounty on our leader, Mazen Namdekanu. After the Fulani Caliphate have placed over $450 million bounty on his head. He, you know, Mazen Namdekanu is a nightmare to the Fulani Janjaweed all over the Sahel and Futajalon. All over the Sahel and Futajalon. You know, they said they are declaring 
Mazen Namdekanu, the leader of IPOB and Eastern Security Network, wanted for killings, destruction of properties of Northerners residing and undertaking their lawful businesses in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Imagine how foolish the Janjaweed are. You know, because someone took the bull by the horn, he rose up in defense of his people, the Biafrans. Because he rose up against the Fulani taking over of Biafran land, and now they are now accusing him of killing the Fulanis, destroying their properties. You know, Northerners or the Fulanis, they should stop using Northerners. They are Fulani Janjaweed. They don't have properties in Biafra land. They don't. All they have is uh, cattle. They bring their cattle and disguise as uh, uh, herdsmen. Whereas they are terrorists, maiming, raping, kidnapping Biafrans. And no one was talking until Mazen Amdekanu rose up and said, No, enough is enough. And he took the bull by the horn and drove out all the Fulani Janjaweed from the Biafran forest. He drove them out. Even Meyeti Allah confessed to that. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed says that they, the Northern Consensus Movement, NCM, an amalgamation of more than 75 organizations in the North extraction have taken it upon ourselves upon themselves as an active and responsible citizen of the zoo called nigeria to state clear on unequivocal terms and without any form of ambiguity that nigeria is a democratic nation under the democratically elected government but they are there allowing their fulani janjaweed terrorists to overrun, maim, and murder Nigerians. I don't know how Mazen Namdekano is their headache. We don't want Nigeria. What Mazen Namdekano is asking is very simple. Give us a referendum and let us go. And they don't want to do that. Now their Nigeria has been destroyed. They said they call on all countries of the world to respect Nigerian sovereignty as a nation. Nam De Kanu, the leader of IPOB, is the, is the man and the brain behind the killings and destructions of properties belonging to innocent Northerners residing in southeast of Nigeria, carrying out their legitimate businesses using his proscribed terrorist organization. Imagine terrorists calling a peaceful, freedom-fighting group terrorists. You know, they are now playing the victim. After the whole world has discussed about Biafran referendum, and that is why the Fulanese are very agitated. They are very agitated and desperate now. You know, they call on the U.S. government. German government as champion of democracy, rule of law, and freedom of speech and expression to humble and kindly respect Nigerian sovereignty and facilitate the, repatri the repatriation of Ndam de Kano back to Nigeria so that he can face his terrorism and genocide charges against innocent citizens of Nigeria. You know, they are so funny. They are so funny. They are so funny the way they think. You know, because they have seen that the whole world, the world powers, and that's why they are mentioning U.S. government and German government. They have sat down and they have decided that Nigeria must come to an end. They have decided. And that is why the Fulani Janjaweed are afraid. Now, the Fulani government, the Fulani Nigerian government, are using their criminal DSS to plan, you know, they said they want to plan to boast intelligence gathering in Imo State. 
why the North is being overrun by the Fulani terrorist bandits. Also, the Fulani governor of Borno State, Zulon, spent over 350 million naira on crowd mobilization so as to prevent protests in Meduguri and Bowen of the late Buhari's impostor during his visit to the states. My brothers and my sisters, you see that Nigeria has been destroyed by our leader, Mazen Namdekanu. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel and bye-bye for now.